This video explains the difference between common positive and common negative LED signals. Nowadays all model colour light signals use LEDs. In fact LEDs are now used on the full size railways. First some background information about LEDs. LEDs have a long leg and a short leg. The long leg goes to positive, the short leg to negative. So that the LED doesn't blow up, it needs a resistor. This limits the current through the LED. LEDs are usually rated at about 30 milliamps. This is a 1K resistor. So if we connect the LED and resistor to the power, the red wire is positive, the black wire is negative, it should light up. If we connect it the other way round, it won't light. Connecting the LED the wrong way round doesn't do it any harm, it just stops it lighting. Other components can be harmed if connected the wrong way around. The thing that damages LEDs is too much current. This is the reason you must be very careful to always use a resistor with LEDs and signals. Resistors have a resistance which is measured in ohms. Typically an LED's resistor might be 1000 ohms, alternatively called 1 kilo ohm or 1K. Here's four LEDs to make a four aspect signal. To wire this up you're going to get eight wires rather difficult to get down a small tube. So to reduce the number of wires we can either connect all the short legs together to make a common negative signal or we can connect all the long LED legs together to make a common positive signal. There is a resistor in the common wire for both of these signals. This is a common positive signal. Its common leg is connected to positive. If we touch a wire from the negative to each of the short legs of the LEDs, the LED will light. Here is the common negative signal with the common wire connected to the black, which is negative. If we connect a wire from plus to the long legs of the LEDs, they will all light. Our mass sequencer and DIRDAS boards have built-in resistors to protect the LEDs in the signal. We can supply circuit boards for common negative or for common positive signals, but as you have seen, they have to match. If your instructions do not tell you the type of signal, here is how to find out. Here is the signal's common wire. If I touch it to the positive, and then touch the double yellow wire to the negative, the signal doesn't light. However, if I touch the common wire to the negative and then touch the double yellow wire to the positive, it lights. So that proves it's a common negative signal because the common wire is going to the negative. The only problem now is if you don't know which wires are positive and which is the negative. If you have a multimeter, it's easy to find out. You set the multimeter to DC voltage 20 volts. And then you get your probes. If you see 12, then the red probe is on the positive terminal. If you see a minus in front of the 12, then the red probe is on the negative terminal. If you do not have a multimeter, then remember that an LED only lights when its long leg is on positive. But remember the resistor.